Hello and welcome everybody to game two of five of Demaga versus Manchi from the Gigabyte Cup. Spawning here in the 12 o'clock position as the Red Zerg, we have Mortal Teamworks Demaga. Spawning here in the 6 o'clock position as the Green Protoss, we once again have Manchi. Manchi was the winner of Game 1, able to take a pretty decisive win there off of Demaga with some very nice usage of Force Fields and Immortals on 2 base. Definitely a very, very strong push there out of Manchi. This Game 2 is going to be on GSL Terminus. Some distinguishing features of this map, there is a Supply Depot at the bottom of the ramp to prevent any kind of early uh, wall-offs there, or wall-ins rather. In this version of the map, there is a small third, which has a regular Vespine Geyser. There are versions of this map where there is a rich Vespine Geyser at this location, but in this particular version, there is only a regular Vespine Geyser here, as well as these five mineral patches. Another thing worth noting about this map is that there is no gold expansion anywhere on this map. Everything is just regular old expansions, with the exception of, of course, these small thirds from every base. Now, we can see that Manchi so far going for that standard Protoss opener for Demaga. Definitely expect to see a fast uh, hatchery coming down here, but just as in game one, he threw down that spawning pool before going for that hatchery. Definitely a safe move on this map just because the rush distance on this map is huge. The There is an absolute ridiculously long uh, rush distance that's very, 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 very far away from your opponent's base. So it takes very, very long to get to your opponent. And if you control these Delnaga watchtowers in the middle of the map, uh, you pretty much have to go through the middle of the map to get to any other base. So if you can control a couple of those Dalnog Watchtowers in the middle, you can be forewarned about any pushes coming towards your base. So uh, definitely a, a smart move to be fast expanding. Actually, I almost expect uh, Manchi to also fast expand on this map. Definitely a very safe move here for Protoss as well. Uh, the opening to your natural expansion is rather wide but just again because of the rush distance is just so big on this map it's definitely fairly common for Protosses to get up fairly fast expansions on this map. Now we do see Manchi is going to be sending up this probe going to be preventing that hatchery from going down for as long as he can as this one drone is now coming in from Demaga looks like four zerglings are on the way going to be able to immediately get that hatchery down exactly when he wants to definitely a safe play here from uh, Demaga and no actually it looks like those links are going to be moving across the map trying to scout out his opponent the pylon goes down in the natural expansion here and two zerglings going to come down and actually be able to delay this hatchery here for a little while is he going to cancel it or is he going to let it finish looks like Demaga is going to be able to clean up that pylon will Manchi recover those minerals yep we do see the recovery of those minerals going down for a little while denying that hatchery for quite a while there so nice little play there by Manchi in the meantime these four zerglings are now moving across the map going to be approaching the expansion the natural expansion of Manchi and see if there, any kind of uh, fast hatchery has gone down one zealot will intercept them and deny them that scouting information at least for now there are more zealots across the map right now three currently on the map looks like they are going to get ready to get a little bit aggressive here and try to deny this hatchery and we can see that Demaga being extra bold here and deciding to go for this third expansion very very fast definitely again an okay move to do on this map just because uh, just because the rush distance is so large. Now he is aware that these three zealots are moving across the map here. I think at this point Demaga is assuming that Manchi went for a fast expansion here, but this could actually be uh, a little problematic here for Demaga because he's almost just assuming that blindly and getting up these other uh, expansions. He is getting up a lot of zerglings here to be able to deal uh, with any additional pressure since he really is not fully informed at this point in the game. Looks like he's getting up a lot of zerglings just in case his opponent is going to be getting up a lot of, of attacking units, which is exactly what we are seeing here from Manchi. Manchi currently with four zealots currently out on the map. Looks like he's trying not to get surrounded here, trying to get a little bit of micro in there. Not sure about that micro there. From Manchi, we took a lot of damage there. Lots of shield damage off those zealots, and it looks like he's now going to be pushing in to his opponent's base. Now, with this many zealots on the map, this is really going to start to cut into the uh, decision to make a nexus here, and this is really just going to buy him time, and this is exactly what he's buying time for, because we do see now a Stargate Going up here for Manchi. Looks like Manchi's going to try to end this here on one base. Now I'm going to be bringing up that Stargate. Going to be expecting a Void Ray coming up there. And the shit from Manchi as he loses all of his uh, Zealots there without dealing too much damage. Only managed to get a bunch of Zergling kills there. Let's actually check out that unit's loss tab. Yeah, we can actually see that Manchi has lost quite a bit more in terms of resources than Demaga has. So nice little exchange there for Demaga. And it looks like Demaga is now going to be looking to get a little bit aggressive as he moves his Lings across the map. 
Do we have Zergling speed up yet? No, no Zergling speed up yet. He is getting that gas up right now. Going to be getting up that Zergling speed as soon as he can. In the meantime, he's getting a lot of drones up at that third expansion. Demaga definitely be getting... Uh, gonna be in a very very good position here once he's got those three bases up and running just now poking in and now this must be the awesome feeling here for Demaga as he is now poked in and seen that no Nexus is down right now and that he's just going up against a one base Protoss he poked up into this base saw that this isn't even a warp gate yet he's definitely going to be expecting some uh, some type of strange tech here from Manchi definitely going to be expecting some kind of Stargate play potentially uh, some something tricky he's got to be assuming that something tricky is going down because he poked up at that front didn't actually see the Stargate but um, just by the fact that there was only one gateway at the front and it wasn't even a warp gate yet, um, really is going to tell him that there, the gas is being spent somewhere and uh, it's got to be in something just a little tricky. Now we do see a Roach Warren currently going down. There's the Evolution Chamber going down for Demaga. Definitely going to expect to see some kind uh, or a few Spore Crawlers here going down pretty soon. In the meantime, getting up that Gas Geyser, um, actually kind of surprised that he's not going for a Layer Tech. The other possibility uh, that his opponent could be going for right now is his opponent could be going for a strange Dark Templar build. And so uh, I'm surprised that he's not actually going for Layer Tech to try to get up some fast... Uh, uh, some overseers, but looks like he's just going to be covering both of those bases by getting up some of those spore crawlers. Definitely okay with that push here. There we go. We do see a spore crawler going down at the front of his natural expansion. Do we have one going down at his third? None going down at the third yet. And those void rays are getting mighty close to reaching that third. If he doesn't get up some spore crawlers here soon, he's not going to be able to defend this third base. He really needs to get those up quickly. There's only one spore crawler currently down here for Demaga. He will be able to uproot it and bring it down to this lower expansion. That is exactly what he's going to have to do here as the hatchery is now being harassed by these two void rays. A lot of damage is going to be dealt here. In the meantime, Manchi is going to be expanding here. Queen's going to be forced to come down. Is Demaga going to let this hatchery fall? He needs to get down there with those queens at, uh, as soon as possible. We see another spore crawler going up in the natural expansion. A third void ray coming in here for Demaga. And there we go. Now we have another queen up on the map. Spore crawler rooting in as quick as it can. But this is a lot of void rays here. Uh, Phoenix coming in, picking up that queen right now. A lot of damage being dealt to that, but in the meantime, these Void Rays are getting rather charged up. Lots of damage currently being done by these Void Rays, and it looks like they are going to be able to deny this third expansion here for Demaga. No uh, Layer Tech. Yeah, there we go. There's the Layer Tech Hydralis Den going up right now, but is it going to be soon enough? I don't know if it's going to be soon enough at this point. Third Hatchery went down. But the damage has now been done. If we check out the harvester count right now, we can see that Demaga is currently 46 to 42 harvesters right now. Definitely in a good, sp uh, good spot, mining very well at his natural expansion. Going to be matched base here with Protoss uh, for a little while. But these Void Rays continuing to wander around. Going to try to get off a few more kills here. As we can see, he's now going to be harassing the front, trying to get a few Zergling kills there. Doing some damage to the Overlord. And yeah, it looks like he's going to be able to pick off a few Overlords here. Even going to get a Queen. Phoenix picks up another Queen. More damage being done here as this uh, Spore Crawler is forced to uproot. Come back up to this natural expansion here to be able to deal with this. Spine Crawler is going down at the front. Definitely good harassment here going down by Manchi. In the meantime, getting up that expansion. Going quite strong. Trying to get those harvesters up as fast as he can, and so much damage being done by these void rays. Hydralis just now popping up though. Looks like they are gonna be able to pick off that Phoenix and will they be able to get these void rays? One void ray is gonna get picked off. No, actually a little bit of miscontrol there by Demaga. I think he could have had that void ray, but I think he was trying to micro a little bit there and actually didn't quite get that void ray. It managed to survive with six hit points there, and now he's gonna be pushing out a little bit with some lings and some hydralis to try to deal some damage of his own. But there's a big force here of Zealots and Sentries from Manchi. I think he's going to be able to defend this just fine. In the meantime, we do see a lot of Zerglings here coming in. These two Void Rays are going to be able to get away. And Demaga, what is he going to do? Lots of Roaches now actually pushing in for Demaga. Demaga currently up in the food count. 102 food, 284 of Manchi. Spire just now going down here for Demaga. Continuing to drone up, trying to get this third expansion fully saturated. And uh, in the meantime, looks like he's going to be going for a big push at the front of the natural expansion here of Manchi. Roach is just now arriving. They do have that Roach speed upgrade. Uh, let's check out some upgrades right now. 
for uh, these roaches. These roaches are currently zero and zero. No upgrades on them or the Zerglings right now. There is a Colossus up right now. Is the Mugga going to be able to push in here? He needs to be able to come in and deal damage to this Colossus or else this Colossus is going to absolutely wreck the forces of Demaga coming in right now. Lots of damage being dealt to these ground units, but this Colossus is remaining completely unharassed, getting so many kills. Five kills on that Colossus right now. So much damage being dealt and Demaga now forced to pull back now. Very behind in the food count. Whoa, holy cow. You see that? Demaga just jumped up 30 food right there. Currently has 14 roaches on the way. Three overlords currently on the way and another hatchery going down here for Demaga trying to get up as much macro and as much economy as he can. His opponent is only on two base. He does know about that because of this zergling here at this expansion. Of course, on this particular version of the map, there are destructible debris here that block that third expansion. Both players still have those destructible debris up. And uh, looks like Demaga is now going to continue to macro up a large force of roaches on the production tab. We can see plus two uh, attack upgrades coming down right now for Demaga. Wow, actually, he must have just been finishing plus one when I last checked because, yeah, it looks like he does have plus one. And plus two is currently on the way right now. Definitely has two evolution chambers up, one not researching at the moment. But Monchi looking to get a little bit aggressive here as he's moving out with two Colossus and a couple of Void Rays here. This could be a very scary push here for Demaga, seeing as Demaga right now only really has Roaches. Seven Corruptors currently on the way. Do we have Hive Tech up? No Hive Tech up quite yet for Demaga. And very little map control, honestly, right now from Demaga. All of his Overlords are forced to be pulled back in his base right now because uh, because the threat of air units right now. And here comes the engagement from Monchi as Monchi's moving in. Once again, these Colossus are staying very, very far in the back, dealing a lot of damage. Not much damage being dealt to them. Three Colossus currently up right now, dealing a lot of damage to those Roaches. And it looks like that one Colossus is being microed back. The Corruptors now coming in. Looks like they are going to be able to finish off those Void Rays. And now they are dealing a lot of damage to those, co uh, those Corruptors. And Demaga now looks like he is finally in a comfortable position here as he is up in harvesters 51 harvesters to 46 harvesters he's currently on three base going to be on this fourth base very very soon going to be in a very very good position here to macro up a large force very very quickly definitely feeling very very comfortable at this point if there's one thing i could fault demaga on right now it is that his creep spread is not quite what it could be he could definitely stand to have a lot more creep around the map right now uh, just because well against Protoss you definitely need a lot of map control uh, and he's not getting it from Overlords right now and we can see that there's another big push here coming in from Monchi in the meantime lots of roaches coming out here for Demaga currently the Corruptor count is actually a little bit diminished right now where are all those Corruptors where did they all go looks like they all might have got taken out in that engagement more roaches streaming in right now but Monchi actually pushing forward actually dealing a lot of damage with these uh, Colossus so many uh, roaches here being taken out by these Colossus both these Colossus is dealing a lot of damage, and Demaga is going to be forced to be a little bit on the defensive here. Was not expecting uh, a quite a fast second attack there from Monchi, and now Demaga is going to be forced to pull back with all these roaches. He needs to get up something to be able to deal with all these Colossus. He needs to get up some more Corruptors if he's going to want to be able to deal with this many Colossus. But lots of Stalkers here able to deal a lot of damage to these uh, roaches, and roaches are definitely not what Demaga needs to be getting right now. Ro he needs to be getting some roaches, but he also needs to be getting up Corruptors to be able to deal with these Colossi, the forces of Demaga coming in right now, streaming and trying to deal as much damage as they can, but is Monchi going to take game two? I think he's actually got quite a few forces here, warping in more Stalkers at this pylon in the middle of the map, and Demaga GG's out of game two. Is Monchi going to be able to take this, game, this best of five in game three here? We are going to find out in just a moment. 